When the TV show The Curse of Oak Island made a terrifying discovery when they reached at the base of the money pit, things quickly went south. Watch the full video to know what happened. Some kids find an interesting spot up on Oak Island offshore in Nova Scotia. They dig and they find some stones laid in, they find some planks, things that would have to be man-made. So they're sure they're onto something. It was the end of the piracy era, right? So everybody's thinking very treasure. No matter how deep they get, they keep finding more planks that appear to be concealing something. They give up at about 20 feet deep because they're digging by hand. And then there's a succession of people that come back and they keep digging and they find more platforms every 10 feet and they find more odd stuff. A bit of chain, all kinds of wood that shouldn't be there. Down about 90 feet, they find a stone that's inscribed with strange engravings. Finally, someone else comes in and they find that the shaft was actually booby-trapped, that there's a flood tunnel to the ocean, and all of a sudden the water floods it. The Oak Island team closely monitored the excavation of the B4C shaft in the Money Pit area. As B4C approached the approximate depth of 90 feet in the C1 cluster, where earlier this year evidence of 15th century wooden tunnels was found, the team detected high trace evidence of both silver and gold. This discovery led to the team to speculate that they had either located the general area of the original money pit or a tunnel that could lead to an offset treasure chamber. Despite being in the final stages of excavation, the team remained determined and continue until they found what they were looking for. They were confident that the existence of a tunnel at the 90 foot horizon meant that they were getting closer to the original money pit and who knew what other fascinating discoveries awaited them on this mysterious island. Updates on the Oak Island quest have been a thrilling adventure for those who enjoy watching history be being uncovered. Join us as we look back on this amazing expedition and the secrets of Oak Island that have yet to be discovered. The Oak Island team had eagerly been anticipating progress on the excavation of the Money Pit area with the hope of finally uncovering the elusive treasure that has captivated generations. Every time they dug, they waited with bated breath for the next scoop or grab, hoping that it would be the breakthrough they had been searching for. One exciting discovery was the presence of gold in the water, which suggested that gold had been introduced into the money pit. As they continued to dig, they found bits of wood scattered everywhere, along with a large iron fastener that appeared to date back to the 1700s or earlier. This discovery was a promising sign that they were getting closer to the money pit. However, just when it seemed like they were making progress, they encountered bedrock at the depth of approximately 130 feet in the B4C shaft. This was a startling turn of events for the team who had been hoping to excavate deeper in search of treasure. Despite their disappointment, they remained optimistic that new technologies and innovative approaches could still yield results in the future. Although the team was ultimately unable to conduct any further excavations in the money pit area that year, their efforts had yielded evidence that the treasure was still buried somewhere below. All five of the massive secret shafts they had dug over the previous months had produced clues that suggested the treasure was within reach, but the search for the money pit was complex and challenging, and it had already confounded treasure hunters for more than two centuries. The team knew they needed to find new technologies and approaches to overcome the obstacles that stood in their way. They were determined to keep searching for the treasure and were hopeful that their perseverance would eventually pay off. In the end, the search for the money pit on Oak Island was about more than just finding treasure. It was about uncovering the secrets and mysteries of a place that had fascinated people for centuries, and although the team had not yet been found, what they were looking for, they remained committed to the search, confident that they would one day uncover the truth. The Oak Island team had been left disappointed with their latest excavation of the money pit, but scientists had confirmed that there were significant quantities of gold and silver buried deep below the surface. Despite the setback, the team remained determined to uncover the treasure that had eluded seekers for more than two centuries. Every hole that they dug had taught them something new and they were inching closer to their goal. They had identified the elevations for the tunnel and had found a significant artifact that could be tested, offering a glimmer of hope. Later that day, Marty, Craig, and Gary had met with blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg to analyze the iron spike they discovered more than a hundred feet deep in the B4C shaft. Carmen had identified it as a rock drill likely used in the digging process to break up boulders. The drill was old, 
very old and was likely made around the same time as the Swedish sharpening suede found on Law 21, which was once owned by Freemason Daniel McGuinness, one of the men who had originally discovered the money pit in 1795. The team's discovery of the rock drill had only added to the mystery and intrigue surrounding Oak Island. Who knew what other fascinating discoveries awaited them on this mysterious island? The adventure continued and the world watched with bated breath as the Oak Island team pushed forward into the unknown. As the team wrapped up another season, they couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and frustration. The discoveries they'd made in recent years had been truly remarkable, but they still hadn't found the fabled treasure that was said to be buried somewhere on the island. The stone paved area in the middle of the swamp, which could date back to 1200 AD, was just one of the many enigmatic finds that had left the team scratching their heads, and then there was the 500 year old stone in the southeastern corner of the swamp, which seemed to lead to nowhere in particular. But perhaps the most intriguing discovery of all was the rock drill found in the B4C shaft. If Carmen's analysis was correct, this tool could date back to the mid-15th century, which would place it squarely in the time period when the fabled treasure was said to have been buried. Could it be that the team was finally closing in on the treasure after all these years? Could the stone paved area, the stone road, and the rock drill all be clues to the location of the treasure? As they packed up their equipment and prepared to leave the island, Rick, Marty, Gary, and the rest of the team couldn't help but wonder what secrets still lay buried beneath the surface. Was the treasure still out there waiting to be found, or had they been chasing a myth all along? Only time would tell, but one thing was certain, the mystery of Oak Island was far from over. For centuries, mystery of Oak Island has captivated treasure hunters, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. It all began with legends of pirates and buried treasure, but the mystery only deepened as more and more people failed to uncover the secrets hidden on the island, but for Rick and Marty Legina, the mystery of Oak Island was more than just a legend or a conspiracy theory, it was a dream. As boys, Rick and Marty had heard stories of the treasure buried deep in the money pit on Oak Island, and they had always dreamed of finding it themselves, but it wasn't until they were grown men that they decided to take chances on their childhood dream. With the help of their dedicated team, the Legina brothers spent more than a decade searching for the treasure of Oak Island, and while they encountered many challenges and setbacks along the way, they never gave up hope. Their tireless work led to the discovery of numerous artifacts and structures across the island including a stone paved area in the middle of the swamp that could date back to 1200 AD, a 500 year old stone road in the swamp's southeastern corner, and two heavy iron swages or rock drill sharpening tools that could date back to the mid 15th century. All of these discoveries hinted at the possibility that they were getting closer and closer to uncovering the fabled treasure, but what could be hidden so ingeniously deep in the money pit? The team's discoveries had only made the mystery more profound but they remained determined to find the truth. Despite not winning each year, the team never lost hope and continued to advance the ball. The fact that they proved that there was gold down there meant that they could no longer lose. The hunt for information was just as important as the hunt for the treasure, and they were closer than ever before. Now, after more than a decade of searching, the Legina brothers and their team had come closer than anyone before them to finally recovering the treasure. They had not only proven that the Oak Island mystery was more profound than anyone had ever thought possible, but they had also inspired countless people with their determination and perseverance. For Rick and Marty Legina, the dream of finding the treasure of Oak Island had become a reality and their journey had become an inspiration to all those who believed in the power of dreams and the strength of human spirit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and have a good day.